So here's the situation. I have a whole bunch of Threat of Rescue boxes in my garage and they've just been sitting there just because I've been like, I don't know, in a slump, not feeling like opening them up. However, we are completely redoing our garage and right now my significant other is out buying some supplies to redo the garage so I'm in a crunch to open up some of these boxes I'll try to get this set I do here have a thread of rescue box right next to me let's hope that these have been sitting in my garage and they are worth a little bit of money I've really been focusing on oh, by the way sorry about my hair I just got back from Pilates and it's pretty much like get rid of these boxes before I get back situation. <laughs> First up we have looks like a blazer from Tahari. Tahari? I don't know. I used to think it was a good brand, but now I'm not so sure if I'm going to end up selling that. I'll put that in like my kind of maybe pile. I do look for stuff that I can sell for at least $35 or I want to keep myself. This is Equar. I've never heard of it. I'm going to look it up, but it's just like a cami. So I don't, I doubt I'm going to end up keeping that one. This has no, oh, this is Kersima. Yeah, it's like a turtleneck. Just, you put it, oh. Man, three things I gotta look up so far. This is Worthington, that, that's a definite no for me. That's probably gonna go to work. We do have a clothing closet. I work at a school. We have a clothing closet that I donate a lot of clothes to. A lot of the teachers actually take the business attire, so. This is MNG. Not the best, but it is my size. So maybe we'll think about that for a little bit for myself. These are principal denim. I'm not familiar with that, but just the tag looks like it maybe could be something. But they are straight leg, they are also gold, so they've got a couple of things going for them. We're gonna take a look at those, see if they're worth anything. Get a little drink from my cup, by the way. I know it was like random, but I did start a like to know it, and I do have this cup linked in there. Just a little shout out to that. This is just a new day. This is probably gonna end up going to a Plato's closet. I will see if they will take it. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. Banana Republic. Probably gonna end up going to work. This is interesting. This is Overland. Not something I would pick up if I was at the thrift store, but sometimes these random things are the things that make the money. So. I am going to look that one up. This is Airy Plato's Closet on this one. They do take a lot of like, basic stuff like that. So they might take it, not for very much. Like, let's be real, but they might actually take it. This is made by Johnny. It has the tag. I'm not familiar with that, but it seems like it might be Amazon. I'll look it up, but it's like it, it does seem like a private label, Amazon something. This is Sandra, another brand I'm not familiar with. Like if you know any of these brands that I'm saying I don't know, let me know. Share the wealth knowledge. This is Old Navy with the tag, which I'd like to know what Old Navy is popping for some reason. This is port 213. Kindness is my kind of thing. I have been all about these like little cute little t-shirt things. So I think that one's gonna end up being my own. 
This one's not exciting, but the next one I am excited to show you. This is Freeloader. I don't know. I know that this split hem idea is kind of in style right now. Don't know that brand, so maybe there's something to it. This is the one that kind of like caught my eye. It is, I don't know, made in China. I'm kind of about that. Is it like cultural appropriation if I wear it? Because I like it. I don't know. Sometimes I get, I think we get a little bit too stuck on that, but I don't need to go get into that right now. This, I like it. I think I want to look into possibly listing that one. This is another Sandra piece. open flannel. It doesn't have buttons. Yeah, it has buttons, but you know, the look is keeping them open. This is another made by Johnny. It looks like the exact same piece. I wonder if it's a boutique brand and somebody that owns that. I don't know. Sometimes I like make up the own, my own stories in my head as I'm opening these. Makes it a little bit more entertaining for me at least. Maybe that's exactly what it is because here's another double which kind of not mad about i've been into a tiktok shop lately and selling all kinds of stuff specifically t-shirts like this so maybe i'll sell it over there yeah uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. another the exact same okay i'm gonna pause for a second look up this brand see what's going on so this brand is sold on Amazon, kind of exactly what I was thinking. I'm wondering if somebody got like a wholesale palette and what didn't sell, they sent to Thread Up. I got a Quick Lots Amazon palette a couple of years ago and actually did pretty good for me, to be honest. The pieces ended up being about 50 cents-ish a piece and they sold for like 30 to $40 each. I did have quite a few things that didn't sell. Actually, I'm clearing out some of my stuff that didn't sell right now is a lot of Christmas stuff, like Christmas socks. I took a couple of pairs for myself, but the rest of them I'll probably end up going to take them to work for the kids and teachers. But yeah, I'm wondering if this person did the exact same thing. They got some kind of liquidation or something from Amazon and got rid of what didn't work out for them. This is divided by H&M. This is something that might do well at Plato's Closet, actually. I think it would really do well at Plato's Closet. So we're gonna check, check, see what happens. This is Lily White. Not sure about it, but it doesn't seem like the most amazing brand, but you never know. I'll check it out. Most likely though, that will end up at Plato's Closet. This box, by the way, is about $100, give or take. I do use credits that I get as well as buy these boxes when they're on sale. Basically during any holiday, President's Day, Thanksgiving, like, I don't know, any holiday, basically there's some kind of sale on these. I keep messing with this because I can't figure out the top. It is sheer on the top. I feel like it's supposed to have something underneath it, or maybe it's a cover up. Maybe it's like exactly what it is. It's like a long beach cover. Mm. Could be making some stuff up here. No size or anything on it. So not really worth doing much with it at all. Yeah. I don't know about that one. I don't think it's gonna be for me. That's probably just gonna be a straight donation. This is Target. All right. Could be good for Pilates. Okay, that looks weird on camera. But it is a bra underneath. If it'll stay right. I think it's double layered bra underneath. And it's I don't know, a tank. 
I kind of like it. Ah, oh, Easter just passed. This is Vastage. Feels kind of cheap. <laughs> what a thank you for Easter Pilates time. We'll see if Plato's Closet takes it. I kind of doubt it. This has no size anything. By the way, sorry about the noise. The room with the best light at my house has the worst noise. It just is what it is. Either you can't see the stuff or you hear the background noise. This is like interesting. It's got the shirt tie and then in the back is just a tie back. Going to Plato's closet. This is Express. Ooh, these used to be in so much style. These were like, I don't know, $60 a piece and now they're everywhere. It's not in my size though, unfortunately. So that's probably going to be donated to somebody at my school, maybe that'll be their size. This is nice club wear for Plato's closet, maybe. This is Cinema Life. Definitely something for Plato's closet. I do end up looking up these brands that I'm not sure about. More often than not, they're not worth very much. This is Express. It is so, so soft. Like sometimes I wish you can feel through in the screen how soft this is. I'm not keeping this to travel with for myself just because I get so cold on planes. I don't know anybody else, but if, no matter where I'm going, hot to cold, I have to bundle up like crazy on planes. I wear long sleeves and then I bring some kind of sweater grandma style on the plane with full pants, socks, the whole deal. I see so many people in shorts, dresses. I don't know how people do that on planes. It blows my mind how people can, can do that. I don't know, a little tangent there, but yeah, this is definitely probably something I'm gonna end up wearing on a flight somewhere. Another one, so, so soft. Okay. I have never gotten anything this weird in a thread of rescue box before. That, like, that's kind of really, really gross. Like, somebody's used. Oh, I've never gotten, like, people have asked me before about, like, bugs and stuff. I've never gotten bugs or anything, ex like, I don't think I have any words to say. That's just very random. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, makes me feel a little bit weird about this. When <laughs> somebody literally just like threw their garbage in the thread up rescue box or the thread up bag that they donated to. Mm. Okay, moving on. These are Derek Lamb. Uh, I need black pants. These are blue. Last box I got some pants. I thought they were black. Legitimately thought they were black. Paired it with black. Got to work. Realized they were blue. My entire outfit was all kinds of whack. I don't know if anyone else noticed, but I definitely did. These I'm going to look at listing possibly for the 30 ish dollar mark i don't know that brand is i'm still <laughs> like i'm still what like I, what <laughs> okay this is divided h&m with the tag i'm guessing plato's closet is going to end up, end up taking that one Another probably Express. Yeah, another Express. Barbie, which the Barbie trend is dying down a little bit. This is Charlotte Rouge. We'll see about Plato's closet. I kind of don't think 
that they will take it though. This is Emmanuel Angararo. Vintage, maybe, possibly. Feels vintage, skirt. I am not an expert in vintage. I'm sure I've passed up things in these boxes before that have been vintage and been really good, but I just passed on them. This is New York and Company, but it doesn't say New York and Company in this tag. So had there not been the brand new tag here, I would not have any idea this was um, New York and Company. And honestly, it's cute and it kind of makes me want to take off the tag because they just doesn't might actually take this one, but with it being New York and Company, I don't know that they actually would. I just sold the dress as I was filming that. Always a good feeling. This is Ari. Oh my gosh, I just went to a beach vacation. You hear the sirens? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's my life. I went to a beach vacation, it was actually pretty cold, and this would have been perfect to uh, snuggle up on, on the balcony because my balcony was right on the beach. It was beautiful to watch the sunrise and sunset, but I was absolutely freezing. I did have a blanket, like cuddled up. Like I said, I get cold. Um, but this, had I opened this before, this would have been perfect for that. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger? No, Gap. This is Pamela with the tag. Um, it was $31 originally. So I'm not even gonna attempt to look this one up. That one's going straight to Plato's Closet slash probably gonna end up being donated. This is H&M. Okay. This one is Pamela. Oh gosh. If I get a whole bunch of these same dresses. <laughs> oh, you never know with these dark rusty boxes. This is Felice Navidad. You get it? Felice. Felice. <laughs> nice ugly Christmas sweater. I just got rid of one when I cleared out some of my old inventory from that Amazon palette. Maybe I'll see about restocking with that one. Maybe it came from Amazon like this t-shirt. I like the t-shirts, but getting three of them from, I think, where are they from? Port, two out of three. Yeah, I like them, but I mean, they're not worth reselling. I was planning on keeping it just because I got it, but now I got three of them. This is H&M. Love this color. Hmm. Yeah. Do I need another hoodie? Probably not. The good thing about these boxes is I can wear stuff like literally one time and then get rid of them. These are Lauren Conrad leggings. Yeah, not so much. If you do get one of these boxes, make sure you have a drink close to you because you most definitely do get dust and uh, get a little clogged up. It's the reality of things. I say that pretty much every video, every single time I cough, because it's true. Or you might get some random stuff like this in your box. This is Bango. Something maybe, possibly, that this closet would take. This is Express. Oh, I like this. It's HIP with the tag. It is from Nordstrom Rack. Nice little Nordstrom Rack sticker. It was $19 originally. I like it. We'll see if Plato's Closet likes it just as much. This is Ya Los Angeles. That split hem. We'll see about Plato's Closet. My Apple Watch is asking me to reflect on the day so far. I love those little reminders. Like, if you have an Apple Watch, do you journal on it and whatnot? I do. Like, it, it just asks you, like, how you're feeling, what's their major factor of why you're feeling that way. I think it's kind of cute. I'm all about just taking moments to reflect and be grateful in life. I know that's corny, but that is who I am. This is Mika. Uh, I don't know about that one. I'm going to research.
answer to. Knowing how this box is going, I don't think <laughs> it's going to be worth anything. Uh, you never know. This is Forever 21. We'll see about Plato's Closet. This is the only money I might make on this box is from Plato's Closet, and they do not pay up. This is about a girl. Also going to see if Plato's Closet will take it. Let's see what they say. This is... Bio Bashan. I feel like I can't even attempt to pronounce that. When you break it down, it's easy, but sometimes it, there's so many letters. That's real. Green jacket. There's no size though. Yeah, no size at all. Unzip it maybe. Sometimes some material tag, but there's no material tag even in this. I'm sure either a teacher or a student will like it though, so this will end up going to work. We, in addition to the clothing closet that we have at work, we have a coat closet because I am Florida based. Sometimes we forget we need coats and there are some chilly days, so we just try to keep them on hand for students. This is Brooks Brothers. Vintage, maybe, possibly. Check it out. Just Brooks Brothers, eh, maybe $20 ish. But a vintage, maybe worth a little bit more. This is Ambiance Apparel. Nice, like around the house shorts. However, because I have way too much loungewear, because I always take loungewear from these boxes, I'm going to pass them on and go take them to throw it up, or not throw it up. Plato's Closet. This is for all seasons. Plato's Closet. Do I like this? I personally like this. Maybe I don't. I thought it was a shirt. I think it's a dress. Nicole Miller. Okay. I thought it was about this, but no, I'm not so sure. Another water break. Banana Republic and very worn out. Sorry to say those might get straight to donation. I don't think I'm going to even bother um, Plato's Closet with that. This is Hidden Girls. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Can I make it fit? No, it was definitely for us. Joan Voss. For a quick half a second, I thought it was Johnny Was, just like how it looks definitely not to Joan Voss, which I don't feel like I've heard of, but like passed on before. This also seems very just worn down. It is Ralph Lauren. What is it? Wool? So the only reason why I know that it's Ralph Lauren is this tag. They have this thick green tag and it's the same print that they use on their tags, but there's no other indicators. There's the material is not on here. Yeah, this one might be going straight to donation. It's not even worth it. This is Gap. And don't need more loungewear, but I, if I did. Delia is Delius. Oh gosh, I used to shop here all the time and I forgot how to pronounce it. If you are a millennial, you definitely know this store. But Plato's closet for that one. This is H&M. I like it actually. Mm, do I need it? Maybe. Probably not. This is maple. 
a Pilates shirt? No. No, no, no. Need to get rid of it. I don't need it. This is Old Navy. I don't know if this box is even worth $100 at this point. This is Danny and Nicole. Vintage, maybe, possibly. I, I, that looks like a vintage look. My vintage people, I need you to chime in here because I don't know what I'm opening. It says Forever 21. Not for me. This is Sharango. Mm. My size, though. Don't think it's a good brand, but people don't know what brand you're wearing when you're actually wearing it. This is L. Bean. Okay, okay. L. Bean does okay. Not, you know, not getting crazy money over here, but L. Bean it usually does sell. So I'm going to assume that out pretty good and see about listing it. Masmo. Oh, these are so soft. More loungewear, more loungewear, more loungewear. It's not going to sell. I need to keep it. It just ended up in my own pile. And when I need to be getting rid of stuff. This is Old Navy. This is... Heat Can you even read that? Highly, highly doubt that's worth anything, but just because I don't know it. This is Derek Hart. Oh yeah. We're going back in time to Plato's Closet. This is Grace Elements. I'm not sure, something to research. Very classy. I feel like cardigans are back in style now. This has the tag. It, is, it was $35 originally from Reebok. If it was $35 originally, it will not sell for the at least $35 mark, so we'll see if Plato's Closet takes that one. This is Express. Okay, okay, if I had the arms for it, I might wear it, but I don't. Soft kitty, warm kitty. Okay, friends, lovers. this something that I could sell just because it is trendy, it's friends, maybe, I'll, I'll look it up, see, it's just, just gander a little bit. This is 874 Dickies. There's no size though, but I bet you a student would wear these. I'm gonna save these for the students. This is timing. This little beach attire. Getting down here and didn't get anything crazy yet. This is moon collection. It's an interesting tag. Can you even read that? Probably not. I'm going to say probably no. If I didn't already have so much uh, plain attire, I'd probably keep it for myself, but I already picked out two pieces. Um, this is H&M. This is Trina Turk. You would think would do well, but no, especially I don't think there's a size on this. It's there. No size or materials tag. Nothing. Something for work. A formal dress from B Darling. Okay, okay, okay. With prom coming up, maybe, maybe, maybe. Got like nice little cutouts. Maybe, maybe. Maybe for one of the students will wear it to prom, or maybe homecoming next year. This is Nella Fantasia. Not for me. Not 
for me. This is Active Basic. There we go. You can see the end of this box and I H and M. This is Frenchy. What is it? The skirt. Is it supposed to be like shapewear? Maybe. H and M. Is this a dress? This is a dress. Okay. So the fr oh my I love that. Okay. I love I I don't even know if this is a brand, but this is mine. You see that ruffle? It looks like it's like a mini length. Oh, it's not a dress. Okay. Yeah. This one I think is mine. Unless it's worth like a hundred dollars. Donate Paradil? Hold on. Just the quality, the look. I gotta look this one up. Alright, so I looked up this, just this brand. I didn't look up the particular piece. I will do that later as I'm listing. But this brand goes anywhere from $15 to $150. Like, you really gotta know what you have in front of you because stuff like this, like, it is really easy to just, yeah, somebody's gonna buy it for $15. But if you do your research on different pieces, you can sell it for the $150 mark. I will say most of the pieces went somewhere in the like $40 to $50 price range, but you never know. If you do your research, if you do your titles, if you have good pictures, you can sell things for a little bit more than you think that you can get. So that's what I'm planning on doing with this piece here that also looks approximately my size. Oops, so this is BP, which is a Nordstrom brand. Um, that is just like it's it's too basic. That's probably gonna go to Plato's closet. This is Town Craft. Oh. Tell me if you know. Yeah, I know. Okay, gay days. I think I just found what I'm going to wear. This is Alice and Olivia. Yep, that might be mine at least for June. Although it's not my size, but maybe I can make it work. I don't know. I'm gonna get up and see what happens. Another sweatshirt that I don't need. It is a reflex. Okay, taking me back to COVID days with all. Remember when everybody was doing tie dye? Like, it was everywhere. You cannot get away from the tie dye. This looks like it came from some kind of thrift shop, consignment store, or something. This is Buy and Buy. And this is Gap. That was it. That's the end of the start of Rescue Box. You tell me, do you think this box was worth it? Do you think that I need to open up the four of the boxes that are still in my garage before ordering some more? I don't know. If you wanna try it out, I do have, of course, the code in the description. I always do for all these videos. I think anybody who uses that code, um, it really shows me appreciation. Like, yes, I get a little bit of kickback, in terms of money but really the kickback that i appreciate more is knowing that people are taking a chance on something that i'm recommending so let me know if you end up using it because those connections are a little bit more meaningful to me